Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a multi-timbral instrument like Native Instruments Contact within Logic Pro. Uh, so I'm going to start from scratch, go to File, New, uh, Load an Empty Project. I'm going to choose Software Instrument. Now if you notice there is a multi-timbral option over here but this doesn't quite work well with third-party you know, software instruments so we're going to just leave that unchecked click on create and my channel strip here I'm going to choose my instrument that would be native instruments contact 4 I'm just going to choose the stereo version now within contact uh, let's load a few instruments let's say a drum kit something else um, acoustic piano grand piano uh, and maybe a bass, classic bass. Alright, so now if you notice over here, I have all the three instruments within one instance of contact, and they all are set up to respond to different MIDI channels. This one is on one, this one is on two over here, and the third one's on three. Alright, that's all good. Now over here we just have one track, so if I was to play this right now, you just hear the drums which is channel 1. So by default, you know, this track is just accessing channel 1. Now if I want to access the other two tracks, or more than that, I need to go into the environment and make some changes. So I'm going to go to Window, uh, Environment. Now here, this looks a bit similar to a mixer. You can see my instrument track over here, the same one that you see over here, Contact 4. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new multi-instrument. Now I'm just going to drag this over here. Uh, now if you click over here, you'll see a little cable that pops out. I'm still holding down the mouse button. I can just connect this to any other channel strip. So I'm going to connect this to the contact instrument. Now it's going to ask you if you want to change the internal channel port settings. I'm going to say yes, go ahead, click on remove. So it's going to remove its internal routing and use my new routing. Uh, now all these channels have not been enabled yet, so just clicking on them will enable them. So I'm just going to go ahead and enable just four for now because I'm not using more than that anyway. Um, you can rename this, it's just called multi-instrument right now, but we can double click there and just call it contact, hit enter. Now that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to close this window. Now I need to go ahead and create new tracks, so I click the plus button. But instead of software instrument, this time I'm going to choose external MIDI and make sure that the open library is checked. Now I click create. We can see an external MIDI track that is loaded up over here. And in the library, we can see all the things that we have. Uh, one of them being contact, the multi-instrument we just created. The first one has already been set up to channel one. So let me create another. Let me create two more. So I'll just enter two there. And the second one set to channel two. Third one set to channel three. I only have three, so I'm going to add the fourth one. Now if I try to play these instruments, you hear the bass on three, you hear the piano on two, and drums on one. So now I have access to all the three instruments within that one instance of contact. Hope this helped. Thank you.